are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome here in New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line with the New York Giants. The New Orleans offense set to take over. What are you doing? The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Breeze now on first down. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he'll get three down at the 34-yard line. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second and seven, Breeze. It's caught on the right side of Smith. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Isaac Yadam picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Thought he had the pick. Flag comes in for P.I., so cancel it out. Interference. Oh, the killer for them. Thought they had a nice play. Instead, they'll be marching off yardage against them. Here we go now on first and goal. Bree's going to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They get five on the run, but it leaves them with a tough third and goal forthcoming. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. This will be caught at about the six. 
And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Granted, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Giants' offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 26. A first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. He takes this for three to the 29. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. From the 29, Jones. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Caden Smith, the tight end. And it'll bring up third down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Jones. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. that time on the punt and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They begin on the ground with Kamara. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. This throw is going to be incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that takes us from second to third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now Breeze on third down. That's complete to his running back, Camara. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Jabril Peppers is deep for the Giants. And now running. 
running right through it. And it's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And it'll be Giant football first and ten. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Complete. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys you know how to control their bodies when they run their backs. Golden Tate, his intended receiver, and it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Catch made by Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone and find the first down, and that's what he just did. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From the gun. Jones will get this out to Barkley complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Touchdown. Evan Ingram, 53 yards. And the Giants have taken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned an ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. On the return, Deontay Harris. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. 
Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. To throw on second and six, Breeze. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, it's Breeze. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. They call it no gain there on the first down play. Garrett Cook. No gain on the play. Brings up second down at the 43-yard line. Second and 20. Shotgun now for Breeze. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. On third down, here's Kamara. And he's going to be taken down. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties, and they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 and will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first. And it's second down. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Jones. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Jones. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
Jones now on first down. And incomplete on the deep ball. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Jones. Dancing to his left. First down and much more here for Jones. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. Cameron Jordan wreaking havoc with a sack. I know there would be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. It's brought in left side by Tate. And out of bounds right around the 20. Golden Tate. A gain of nine brings up third down. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this from 37. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. And here's Lewis. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, Jones. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Tate. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Brutal. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. Inside four minutes to go. Third quarter. Here's Jones. Throwing on first down. Finds his tight end, Ingram. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll go to Barkley again. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Now Jones on first and ten. That's complete to Slayton. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. New York. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Jones on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Demario Davis in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean, but in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Gano out to kick this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Saints again ready to go on offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. On first and 10, here's Breeze. And he'll get this one underneath to Camara. That catch good for only a couple. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Working from the gun. It's Breeze. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. It's a first down on a gain of 10. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down, Breeze. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Maybe a little 
frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Thomas barreling ahead. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. What was the intentional grounding call? Oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. Breeze will try again on second down. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Breeze to throw again. That'll be complete to Cook. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now, Breeze again. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards there and a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Again, it's Breeze. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. To the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Breeze to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Makes it third and four. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. Now Breeze. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know. Doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly.
So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number as empirical. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The New York set to take the field. They've got the lead by three, late stages of the game. What's the message here? Just hang on to the football. Is it that simple? That's exactly right, because ball security is paramount. And you've got a small cushion. A field goal can tie you, but you don't even think that way. Just take care of the ball, close out the game. Will they close it out? We're about to find out. They'll run it again with Barkley. And some strong running. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans. Number two, as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. Yeah and a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.